Welcome back to Inside Weiermann, the video series that brings our mold house to your brew house. My name is Axel Jani, I'm the team leader of the international customer consultants here at Weiermann, and today's topics is the portfolio of our organic molds. You may ask yourself what is so special about organic molds or first and foremost the organic grains that go into our um, organic molds. Um, well, uh, the fertilization for example and the traceability from the farm all the way um, into our mold house is um, specifically looked at in organic molds and it has to adhere to certain standards uh, and legislations. All of these certificates are to ensure the customer to have a, a healthy product uh, and um, in our uh, case here with the organic uh, grains and malts we are adhering to the European uh, um, Öko legislation as well as um, several uh, standards such as uh, um, Naturland, Demeter and also the international standards, just as uh, JAS, uh, the Japanese um, organic uh, legislation, as well as BioSwiss. And for our customers in the United States, it's important to know that there is an agreement between the US and the European Union that each, like USDA organic, and our um, um, standards are uh, acknowledged. And so, therefore, we are able to offer um, our malls. Um, in USDA organic approved form. The beauty of the broad spectrum or the broad portfolio of the Weiermann specialty molds uh, is that they are available in organic form, not only just the base molds, but really all the way from the base molds towards the technical molds like Cara Foam, Cara Hell, acidulated mold. All of these are also available in organic. Um, then caramel molds like Cara Red, Cara Aroma and here on this side you see the dark chocolate molds again in organic because when you think of it um, to have an organic base mold and then not go all the way and add some conventional molds into your organic base mold is just jumping a little bit too short. Um, so here with our products you can go 100% organic, I'm sorry, on uh, your mold bill and that's the beauty of it. In our other videos we have uh, talked about the molds in detail. Um, Today it is more about showcasing or uh, explaining the difference between our all-natural conventional line and the ones that are certified organic. And um, yes, we are so proud to have that vast variety of organic molds. Um, when you look how are they are being produced, uh, the grains are being sourced just as the conventional ones from local farming, um, but these farmers are already registered and um, working according to the organic regulations. The grains are then coming into our malt house and here we are making these base specialty caramel and roasted products out of them um, and they are being kept uh, separate so that it is consistent throughout the whole process all the way into the back and there on the back it does also say yes it is an organic product in there it got the traceability number and to which organic legislation it has been produced of because there are slight uh, differences between each of them and that's the reason why we sometimes even have products under three different organic uh, organizations and um, that way you are able to brew, if you want to, all the beers in full organic, um, from a beautiful Pilsner uh, to a Munich beer, an international beer style, an organic IPA. Um, there, of course, you uh, would also look into the hop side, but I will not go into this today. And um, 
I hope you enjoyed our little excursion into the organic side of malting and I hope to see you soon. All the best. Cheers.